Uh, first of all, uh, my name is Greg Reese from Cincinnati, living date now. Is it okay for me to record you and broadcast you on the World Wide Web? As long as you don't make us look bad. We're going to make you look great. We're going to look great. No, he didn't get any video of the game. And you know, and I, w I was going to, but I was like, let me walk over there. Kind of when I'm thinking like some guys just with an axe. So, so, just ta yeah. 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 Taking, a picture. taking pictures, right. Uh, let's see. Um, How many axes do you have in your car? Yeah. I got, all, I got it all rehearsed. Oh, you throw that in there some, because I was talking about being a man and does it make this, does it rugged? And I was talking about my grandpa. This is a good thing. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, uh, I got it. Only got about maybe a million hits online, so it's not big, big. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> it's better than the 13 that we have. Oh, the 13. <laughs> hey, we're going, we're going large today. <laughs> all right, first of all, it's Greg Reese from Cincinnati here in Dayton. I live in Dayton now, Dayton resident. Um, I don't want to have to ask everyone's name, but tell me a little bit about what you're doing here today. So, we grew up not too far from here in Dayton View. Most of us are all from the same neighborhood. Grew up playing football together, and at least 50 years ago, we started coming down here to play football with our buddies, and have continued to this day, at least 50, some say 49, some say 52, we're not real sure on the math, and as we've gotten older, most of us are starting to bring down our, our kids, so we have two generations for most of the, most of the guys that are here. It's been really fun to get together every Thanksgiving with a great group of guys, um, nice families. It's really fun to get together. And uh, our football games have gotten shorter and shorter <laughs> as we've gotten older and older. So the, the old guys, we just kind of waddle around while the young guys really play. There's, there's four of us probably have been coming down here for all 50 years. Um, Ron and Rick and Tommy. Larry's not here, so yeah, I think we have the four or five of us been coming down for 50 years, but everybody else. playing here, we were playing Yeah, we were playing Yeah. 25 and 25, the record of Andrews Raiders and Burkhart Bombers. No, Burkhart Bombers are undefeated. Burkhart Bombers are undefeated. Man, that's incredible. That's a legacy. Before we go into that, tell me the significance of this oh. site here. Oh. We all worked here when it was a baseball field before the before the football field. We uh, would keep score at the scoreboard at uh, a bucket game at Howe Field. Yeah, I know, I know. That's good though. That's that's good. We use that. So the Dayton Triangles were one of the uh, first teams. It was not called the NFL then. I forget the name of the league, but the Dayton Triangles hosted the very first what became the NFL in. October of 1919, and that's why the NFL was going to honor Dayton as a site until they found out there were um, relics underneath the ground, so they were going to put in a big stadium, um, but that, that didn't happen, so, but we, we, yeah, we played, played Little League Baseball here, and in high school, played at Howe Field, which was always great for a high school kid to play on the really nice Field. It's like, oh man, this is awesome playing here. Man, that's incredible. Great players play yeah. here. Like the, anyone like to say anything? Ricky. Tommy? And anyway, Tom, please yeah. come in. Tommy. And I know it's kind of off the. Okay. Oh, right here. This, this is the entrance. The sign is here for the NFL field because this is the entrance going into the uh, where the uh, Dayton, Dayton Dragons played here. Uh, Jim, Jim Thorpe, or uh, Dayton Triangles played here, but Jim Thorpe played here. And uh, the great thing about it is Dayton won the first game. So the very first NFL football game, Dayton won it. I just so, found that out this yeah, year. it's That's it's wild. it's pretty cool. And this is also a site where uh, World War One they trained here before they went overseas. So it's also where all the troops gathered and were camped out here. So there's been a lot of stuff that's gone on around here for all these years. So that's incredible. Yeah. I, I love the family aspect, the legacy. Does anyone want to speak on just? being a family, being a man, uh, raising your family? Well, I, I, I was just going to mention, uh, you talked about the family and all that, but it was really kind of the neighborhood. We all grew up right up the hill here on Ridge, off a of Ridge, and went to church together and, and you know, played in the, sh uh, in the parks together. And then we just talked about, you know, playing at the Jesse Haynes baseball fields and stuff like that. And just really, uh, you know, good great atmosphere. Hopefully, you know, the city will continue to regenerate and, you know, they put some money in here, 
and you know some development downtown so hopefully you'll start to reach back into the neighborhoods and you know kind of recapture some of it and get back to you know some really cool cool spots i'm glad you said that. it's been a hard hard summer for, for dayton Ohio. oh it certainly has it certainly has and and i think a you know, they call it Dayton Strong, but I think it's uh, also, you know, it's a real Midwest town. It's a real Midwest town where, you know, people want to kind of get things done. And uh, hopefully, you know, through these events here, including the uh, tragedy on the shooting, maybe there might be some uh, some changes as it relates to what we need to do on, on some of the uh, controls of the guns and stuff like that. But otherwise, you know, that's a little politics on a Thursday. <laughs> We'll move. We'll move on from that. But the re the real thing is, you know, I'd vote for you. <laughs> you know, a bunch of a bunch of great friends and otherwise uh, in a great uh, great neighborhood. I want to speak to someone from the younger generation, and then I got to speak to the axe guy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he has a football. So younger, anyone younger generation want to? Tell us how this feels to you. Matthew, younger generation. Yeah. 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 Right. Timmy. Um. So I just remember. So I'm. I'm. Uh, this is my dad over here, and he, I have uh, two older brothers and one younger brother. So I grew up. I'd wake up in the morning, and they'd all be gone at football, and you could you had to be 14 years old to come here. So I'd wake up at noon, or, or I'd wake up. I'm 12 years old. I'd wait for them to come home. They'd come home all muddy, and I would just be waiting for my chance to come down here. So then finally, I'm 14. I come down here, and I see this is what it is. No, no, it's it's awesome. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm kidding. Is that I'm kidding. something you look forward to every No, day? that's what that's what I was gonna get I to that. Yeah. So So that's the thing I think is really cool is um a lot of times, you know, not everyone's able to make it every year, but um like my brother flew in from Boston, my other brother flew in from Indianapolis and we were all able to make it here and we all have fun out here every year and two of us are on one side, two of us on the other side and we compete all day. So um yeah, who, it's a lot won today? it's a lot of fun. Uh, uh, we always tie. We always tie. <laughs> yeah. We always tie. It's just like being on both sides of the aisle. Always a tie. Right, Joe? That's right. The last one wins, right? The last, yeah. last touchdown wins. The, the last touchdown near the beer wins. <laughs> That's right. Now, I know this is a little cheesy, but do you have, like, some kind of, like, yo, go to you, or anything you, yeah. you could say? So, no. if you look okay. at, no. if you look at Steve's hat, yeah. the yeah. MWC. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, there you go. That's Men Without Cause. <laughs> That's the name of our group. That's the name of our group. I like that. Let's see. Here, here's another hat. Still looking for one. <laughs> That's our winter hat. <laughs> That's our curling league. Curling league. hat. Yeah, they're, they're in a curling league together. Which one? That one. Anybody else want to say anything? Ricky. Sing a song, Ricky. What? <laughs> no, those, oh, they're not really 50 years old, are you? <laughs> they're pretty old, but I don't think 50 years. Okay, these underwear, <laughs> the, these underwear oh, no. were in the very first football game they're from. I came from my paper route, okay? We came down. Yeah, yeah. Now, 26 waist, okay? They aren't 26 anymore, but I've worn them, and they're only worn once a year now on this day. So, pristine condition. Yeah, pristine condition. So, but that's that's the history. I think that's the only thing we got from our first game left is my underwear. <laughs> let's, say, let's say long johns. Long johns, my long johns. Okay. That explains why you had to be 14 years old. <laughs> that was the 14-year-old rule, yeah. So, well, that's when well, we were probably 12 when we started. 11, yeah. yeah. You're little kids. Yeah, because so, we were talking. John and I, we you guys started. At we start, yeah, we played at five oaks. We started when about 10. So take the mic. Yeah, no, take the mic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I thank you guys. I appreciate thank you. you. Now, whoever thank you. has email, I'll send the full. I'm gonna edit it, but I'll send the full oh, that's uh, video. That's great. And, and I'll post.